Wild Dog Country. This week we're down at Amazon talking to senior defense engineer Johnson. So you've got some history here at U of G with your dad having played as well. So does, did his playing career here steer you at all into coming to U of G? Uh, I mean a little bit. It was the first uh, First choice on my list, obviously, with my dad playing here. I grew up coming here as a kid, and uh, my dad puts on a fishing tournament here in, uh, in the end of May, and I've been coming to that since I was like five years old. So, uh, just growing up around the town and kind of the history that surrounds the program definitely enticed me for it. And I mean, with your dad playing in the NHL for 12 seasons and growing up in that environment, was hockey kind of something that was ingrained in you from day one? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when it's your dad's profession, it's obviously something that uh, you want to do when you're older. And I always looked up to my dad, and um, I'd say it had a huge impact on me as a kid, and definitely now what I'm doing. And so, kind of, you know, watching hockey growing up, was your dad someone you kind of idolized, or was there another player in the NHL that you kind of tried to mold your game after? Um, I'd say when I was a kid, definitely uh, liked the way my dad played the game. He played the game hard, and um, as I grew up, got older, there was a couple guys that uh, he kind of pointed me in the direction of watching. Guys like Keith Ballard, even though he was a guy who played for the Gophers, but undersized left-handed defenseman. Mm -hmm. And um, a guy I like to watch now is Andrew Ferentz, who plays in Edmonton. Um, he's a captain of their team and obviously plays the game really hard and not the biggest guy. Um, so you guys open your home opener this weekend against Mankato. So I guess, can you just talk a little bit about what you like to, what you guys really like playing at? at home as opposed to on the road? Well, obviously when you play at home, you have your own little routine every day and uh, definitely be able to sleep in your own bed and eat your own food is always something that helps you and showing up at your own rink and getting dressed in a stall with your buddies and um, obviously the students, that makes it uh, a lot of fun and playing in front of your family and friends. Definitely a lot better than the road, but I mean, the road has its benefits too. You're just you and the guys, and you're a close knit group on the road. And coming off of last weekend, you guys had probably about as good a game as you could have wanted on Sunday. Well, I think on Sunday we played a lot better 60 minute game. Mm -hmm. I mean, we played really well in front of Maddie, and it's too bad we couldn't have played that way in front of Kaz having it be his first game. And I mean, we had a terrible start on, on Friday against the Gophers and kind of put the young kid in a tough spot. So it's obviously something we don't want to happen again when Kaz is in there. but. Uh, when they put Maddie in, we played really well in front of him, and we let him see the puck, and he made two or three really good saves, and other than that, he was able to see the puck, and we didn't let him have any other second shot opportunities. And then how would you describe your play personally on the ice? Uh, I'd say I'm positionally sound, and I'm someone uh, who you can tell probably leaves it out on the ice every night, and um, not someone who's going to be selfish and worry about if they're on the score sheet or anything like that. I pride myself in not giving up many goals and um, definitely will block a shot or try to get under the other team's skin and uh, do just about anything to help my team win. Absolutely. And then, so lastly, if you think back, how would you think that your teammates would describe if they had to use one word? Very, very simple. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thanks so much for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. So if you could describe Derek Johnson in one word, what would it be? Uh, I'd say intense. Intense guy. Uh, I'd probably say loud. Mm, motherly. Come join us this Friday to cheer on the Bulldogs as they take on Mankato.